Three wonders mark this holy day as the church is joined to the heavenly bridegroom. This day a star leads the wise men to the Christ child. Alleluia. This day water is made wine at the wedding feast. Alleluia. This day Jesus was revealed as the Christ in the waters of baptism. Alleluia. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Warm well, welcome if you're joining us on Zoom. Uh, we've been here before with these lockdowns. We're in our third lockdown. It's very frustrating and upsetting that we can't meet in person. Uh, but thank God for modern technology. And here we come to celebrate the Epiphany in three different ways this evening. So enter into the service, enjoy the reading, and make the place for the Christ child in your heart. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, who behold your glory, to drink from the waters of the new creation, flowing from the rivers of life at your baptism. Give us the wings of the Spirit, that we may hasten to meet you at your coming, and praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. This day, a star leads the wise men to the Christ child. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. The nations will come to your light. And kings to your dawning brightness. They shall bring gold and frankincense. And proclaim the praise of the Lord. Your gates will lie open continually. Neither by day nor by night. Nor no more will the sun give you daylight. Nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. And God will be your splendor. Thanks for these gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe. You receive our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. May our prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and the lifting up of our hands be an evening sacrifice. Blessed be God. God Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In the time of Herod the king, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star, that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Eternal God, who by the shining of a star led the wise men to the worship of your Son, guide by his light the nations of the earth, that the whole world may behold your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This, <clears throat> this day water is made wine at the wedding feast. I saw the holy city near Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling, dwelling of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them and they shall be his peoples. And God, God himself will be with them. Behold, I make all things new. I am, I am the Alpha, Alpha and the Omega, the, Omega, the beginning, beginning and the end. end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift. From, From the spring, spring of the water of life. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, for the marriage of the Lamb has come. Make your church ready and clothe her with the righteous deeds of the saints to join the praises of your new creation. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord of God. God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now, draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves the good wine first and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this the first of his signs in Cana of Galilee and revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature 
by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. This day Jesus is revealed as the Christ in the waters of baptism. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart will I give you and put a new spirit within you. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. You bring waters out of the stony rock. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. This is the gospel of the Lord, praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, Grant to us, who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling, and you, as your adopted children, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God in Christ gives us the water, welling up for eternal life. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Lord, give us this water, and we shall thirst no more. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times to give you thanks and praise. For today the grace of the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove descended upon the waters. Today the sun that never sets has risen and the world is filled with splendour by the light of the Lord. Today the clouds drop down on all people, the dew of righteousness from on high. Today the uncreated of his will accepts the laying on of hands from his own creature. Today the waters of the Jordan are transformed for healing by the coming of the Lord. 
Today, the blinding myth of the world is dispersed by the epiphany of our God. Today, things kept above keep feast with things below, and things below communion with things above. Therefore, Heavenly Father, accept our sacrifice of praise, and by the power of your life-giving spirit, sanctify these waters of your new creation, that we and all who have been born in you by water and the spirit may be renewed by in your image, walk by the light of faith, and serve you in newness of life. Through your anointed Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you the Holy Spirit we lift our voices of praise. Blessed, Blessed be God, God our strength, strength and our salvation, salvation now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Beloved in Christ, let us again claim for ourselves this covenant which God has made with his people and take upon us the yoke of Christ. This means that we are content that he appoint us our place and work and that he himself be our reward. Christ has many services to be done. Some are easy, others are difficult. Some bring honor, others bring reproach. Some are suitable to our natural inclinations and material interests. Others are contrary to both. In some we may please Christ and please ourselves. In others we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. Yet the power to do all these things is given to us in Christ who strengthens us. Therefore, let us make this covenant of God our own. Let us give ourselves to him, trusting in his promises and relying on his grace. Lord God, Holy Father, since you have called us through Christ to share in this gracious covenant, we take upon ourselves with joy the yoke of obedience and for love of you, engage ourselves to seek and do your perfect will. We are no longer our own, but yours. I am no longer my own, but yours. Your will, not mine, be done in all things, wherever you may place me, in all that I do, and in all that I may endure, when there is work for me, and when there is none, when I am troubled, and when I am at peace. Your will be done when I am valued and when I am disregarded, when I find fulfilment and when it is lacking, when I have all things and when I have nothing. I willingly offer all that I have and am to serve you as and where you choose. Glorious and blessed God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am yours. May it be so forever. Let this covenant now made on earth be fulfilled in heaven. Amen. As we have entered this covenant, not for ourselves alone, but as God's servants and witnesses, let us pray for the church and for the world. Loving God, hear us as we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Make, Make us, us all one, one that, that the world may believe. Inspire and lead all who govern and uphold authority in the nations of the world. Establish, Establish justice, justice and peace, peace among all people. Have compassion on all who suffer from any sickness, grief or trouble. 
Deliver them from their distress. We praise you for all your servants who have entered your eternal glory. Bring us all to share in your heavenly kingdom. Lord our God, you have helped us by your grace to make these prayers. And you have promised through Christ our Lord that when two or three agree in his name, you will grant what they ask. Answer now your servants' prayers according to their needs. In this world, grant that we may truly know you, and in the world to come, graciously give us eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here amongst us, we pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, the creator, the rock of our salvation, who have, has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgiven all our sins through Jesus Christ, keep us faithful to our calling, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, a few notices. Uh, things are changing, as you will be aware, rapidly. And uh, so we will keep you informed of developments in the coming days and weeks. Uh, when we can safely meet, we will do so as soon as we possibly can. In the meantime, do join us for morning, evening, night prayer, coffee morning. Bible study, lots of things happening during the week, all of them in your notice sheets. So do join us and uh, as we share uh, communally in these times of prayer, prayer throughout the week. There's also the date of the um, Glasgow uh, charity fundraiser as a sort of celebration. We raised over £3,000, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you all who have generously given. I can't remember the date. It, it's in your it, it's 26th of January. We'll gather and have fun this evening to celebrate uh, how much we praise. The final blessing. May God, who in Christ gives us a spring of water welling up to eternal life, perfect in you the image of his glory. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.